a name and move on. And I swear to God, if you name it, broke my Julie, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, that's it, end of video. That was so easy. In this episode of Pretty Rich Podcast, we are going to talk about how to choose a business name for your beauty business. My name is Sheila Bella, and I'm your AAM board president, and I'm also the host of Pretty Rich Podcast. In this video, we're going to talk about this choosing a business name thing that you're clearly spending way too much time on. Warning, be prepared for me to burst your bubble, okay? Do we have enough room in our inbox for hate mail for this? Do we need to buy extra megabytes, terabytes from Google Drive? Your business name doesn't matter. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, did you know that Jeff Bezos originally named Amazon Cadabra? As in Opera Cadabra. He thought it was so glamour. He's so cute. <laughs> uh, and then his lawyer misheard the name uh, as Cadaver, you know, like a dead body. So that was a hard pass for Jeff Bezos. Guys, the biggest company in the world with revenue of $365.8 billion. <laughs> no, like billion. Named after a fruit. Brilliant. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Okay, the point is your business name does a printing pattern and you need to underthink it. This isn't your wedding. It can change. People who get married get divorced. Okay? It's okay. It can change and evolve with time. And as a matter of fact, it must evolve and change over time or die. The key takeaway here is to make a decision and move on. Do not lose too much time on this one. It's a waste of time. With that said, I do have some hot takes for you. All right, first hot take. I'm not a fan of browse by Julie or any other name, and here's why. The only reason you should name your business browse by your name is if you intend on remaining a one-woman show forever, in perpetuity, until the end of time, till kingdom come, till death do us part. You get the idea. The reason is it's going to be really hard to scale your business. It's gonna be hard for your artists to get clients because now they have to compete with you. Think about it. I mean, I, I had this problem. I named my business Sheila Bella Microblading. It wasn't even browsed by Sheila. I didn't think it would, people would interpret it that I would be a solo artist. But uh, guess what? Whenever a client called, a potential client, they would say, uh, hi, hi, can I talk to Sheila? <laughs> of course, my name's on the door. Listen, when I go to Anastasia Browse in Beverly Hills, I don't ask to speak personally to Anastasia. Online courses saved my business, creating them. When I had to shut down my salon during quarantine, online coaching was what fed my family and kept a roof over our heads. Now I make anywhere between $300,000 to $400,000 a month. If you're a trainer or educator in the beauty industry, you need to get on this. I put together a free online course starter kit that will give you clarity on the first steps. To get it, all you have to do is click the link below. Okay, so if I had that problem, if you name your business Browse by Stephanie, they're only gonna want Stephanie. Another hot take is to make your company name search friendly. Dang, I missed the boat on this one. I really, really did. Have the name of your business indicate what you do and where you do it. You gotta include keywords such as location and services or service. For example, Los Angeles permanent makeup or even more specific, Malibu microblading. I know many of you are afraid to put yourselves in a box, right? You don't wanna cap yourselves. You wanna give yourself some room to grow within your brand. 
LA Fitness. They're not just in LA. I saw one when I was in Pennsylvania. So here's the thing. You must earn the right to expand your niche. You earn your right to broaden. Laser in on a niche and a location. And then once you get popular there, at that point, <laughs> there we go. You have attention. Everyone's going to know, oh, wow, now she's doing yoga or now she's holding juggling classes. It doesn't matter, right? So focus and become known at being the best microblading in the city, the best ombre, the best lip blush, the best permanent makeup, and become a powerhouse authority that way. Then you earn the right to expand and diversify. Hey, it's Sheila Bella. I just wanted to say, if you like this type of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you never miss another beauty business video. And guys, I wanna know exactly what it is that you like. So if you have any beauty business questions, leave it in the comments so I know exactly what questions to answer. Back to the channel. When you're just starting out, the best thing you can do is to have a well-defined specific niche and become known for that one thing in particular, especially if you have a local business where people have to be local or most people are local to take advantage of your service. That's what sets us apart. The key takeaway here that I want you to have is that indecision is gonna cost you way more than just making the wrong decision. So pick a name. And move on. I'll see you off into the sunset with whatever name you choose. Guys, thank you so much for sticking with me throughout this training, and I'll see you guys in the next video.